everyone, welcome to day 29 of the 100 Day Project. I thought we'd stop in the jelly plate today with um, stencil to begin. So this is the ivory black. I'm trying something a little different today. I'm just going to roll this out. Get a nice thin layer going on here. Nope, try to get over there. Way too much. Okay, let's take that up. And we're just gonna print this onto, oh, I just smeared it, oh well. Um, we're gonna put it down right here, press it out. Make sure I got some good contact going on there, minus the black on my finger. <laughs> I'm going to take the Baron and push down a little bit. Um, I do have the plastic on here. Don't try this with bare jelly plate. It probably won't work. Okay. And we have a bit of a transfer going on. So we're going to go in with some watercolor and this big, my mop brush. And we're gonna just lay down some paint here. Maybe a little bit more water. I wanna see how these schminkes are gonna react to this paper. I'm gonna go in with the card a little bit. I'll make a little bit of color shaper. Way too much water. Hold on. I had way too much water in there. This brush is very, moppy brushes are very, uh, they like water. <laughs> Let's go in and make some marks. Palette knife. My palette knife is working really well today. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some of the Schminke, maybe mixed with a little bit of the gray. I'm just going to bring some of that down here. Maybe up through here. Just playing, kind of seeing what we got. Um, what happens if we go in with the bit of the color shaper. I think I want a little bit more of that brown color. So let's go in with the card. I'm gonna bring it up into these areas through here. Dry. Okay, I'm going to go in with the cool gray graphy tint. I'm going to add some of these ladder stencil marks. That's probably enough. Come back in with a little bit of water. I think I want some more down here. Just look at the 
few through here. I don't want these as smooth though. I think I want them to be more drying. Okay. I'm gonna come back in with the ink tints uh, indigo blue here. I'm gonna put in some darker marks through here. These work really well when they're wet. down a little bit. Color Shaper. Okay, we're going to go in a little bit with this cool brown color because I want some marks through here. That's maybe not the color I want. Come in with the Deco Marker through here. least one. We need this little bit more black shape through here. I'm going to find a smaller one of these. Maybe. Okay. Oh, that was a little messy. Okay, let's add this one in too. Mm, I don't know if I wanna. I don't want it to go all the way over there. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. go in with this. Put that right there. Maybe some right through here. Try a little bit of this ladder stamp. Did I put paint on there? <laughs> I don't want too much uh, ivory black through here. Okay, I think this one's done. Um, I like how graphic everything is becoming. Love the contrast between the graphic parts and the scratchy lines and painterly lines. Um, and I like sort of the overlay of the colors. I think that works nicely. I'm um, pretty happy with this one. It was quick today. A um, little pressed for time, but let's see what it looks like with the mat. And here it is with the mat. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about where I'm going with this. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Um, is it too graphic? Too painterly? Let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll go over here to see another video and I'll see you in the next one. Tomorrow for day 40? Is it 40 already? Awesome. Thanks so much. Bye.